May 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Acts chapter 14 from the New Testament. The same thing happened in Iconium, when Paul and Barnabas went into the Jewish synagogue and spoke in such a way that a large group of both Jews and Greeks believed. But the Jews who refused to believe stirred up the Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So they stayed there for a considerable time, speaking out courageously for the Lord, who testified to the message of his grace, granting miraculous signs and wonders to be performed through their hands. But the population of the city was divided. Some sided with the Jews and some with the apostles. When both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their rulers, made an attempt to mistreat them and stone them, Paul and Barnabas learned about it and fled to the Laconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and the surrounding region. There they continued to proclaim the good news. In Lystra sat a man who could not use his feet, lame from birth, who had never walked. This man was listening to Paul as he was speaking. When Paul stared intently at him and saw he had faith to be healed, he said with a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And the man leapt up and began walking. So when the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Laconian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. They began to call Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of the temple of Zeus, located just outside the city, brought bowls and garlands to the city gates. He and the crowds wanted to offer sacrifices to them. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard about it, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd shouting, Men, why are you doing these things? We too are men with human natures just like you. We are proclaiming the good news to you so that you should turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and everything that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all the nations to go their own ways. Yet he did not leave himself without a witness by doing good, by giving you rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, satisfying you with food and your hearts with joy. Even by saying these things, they scarcely persuaded the crowds not to offer sacrifice to them. But Jews came from Antioch and Iconium, and after winning the crowds over, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, presuming him to be dead. But after the disciples had surrounded him, he got up and went back into the city. On the next day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news in that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, to Iconium, and to Antioch. They strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, We must enter the kingdom of God through many persecutions. When they had appointed elders for them in the various churches with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the protection of the Lord in whom they had believed. Then they passed through Pisidia and came into Pamphylia. And when they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Attalia. From there they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. When they arrived and gathered the church together, they reported all the things God had done with them and that he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. So they spent considerable time with the disciples. God, I am so sorry that I let people and situations defeat me in the pursuit of telling other people about the good news about you and how amazing you are. You know, sometimes I let what people say to me get to my heart or situations will happen or either even fellow Christians will not be very nice <laughs> and attack me or attack my ministry. And uh, I hate to say this, but it has sidetracked me on more than one occasion. But then I read about Paul. He gets stoned to the point that they thought he was dead. They drag his body through town, throw him outside of the gates. And through your strength, God, he comes 
back into the city. <laughs> really? I, I know that, that most of us would like to be more like Paul. But really? I do know God that he could only do that through your strength. And, and Paul was definitely a man strengthened by you, through you. He was just amazing. But it was because of you. So God, today, remind me, remind the people who are listening right now that we can ask you for that strength and you have promised to give it to us. That when we feel defeated, when we are exhausted, when we are tired, when when we can't deal with one more hurtful action or word, it is you and your strength and your patience and your grace and your mercy that we have access to that you have promised to fill us up with those things so that we can go on and continue doing what you have called us to do. We will be persecuted. You have said that multiple times in your word. It's how we handle that situation. If we get up from being almost dead and walk right back into the city and continue on with what you've called us to do. God, I just thank you so much for your strength. And for allowing me to have access to that strength. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>